Yo, it finally happened. A massive update just surfaced for the Flipper Zero's mysterious big brother, the Flipper One. While we've all been having fun with our zeros, new images, and what looks like the start of official documentation have appeared online. So let's break down what we know about this new Linux powered device, why it looks like a hardware hacker's dream, and why it is definitely not here to replace your Flipper Zero. We all know the Flipper Zero is a legend. It's really the ultimate pocket-sized multi-tool for anyone curious about radio, security, or hardware. But for a while now, whispers in the community have circulated about a successor, the Flipper One. And for a long time, the project's status was unclear, with some thinking it was canceled. But now, new details are finally coming out, and they show a device that's way different than you might think. Thanks to new design images and early work on official documentation, we have our best look yet at the Flipper One. The schematics show a device that's clearly more than just a concept. But the real headline is from the Flipper team themselves, who have started documentation describing the Flipper One as a portable Linux computer with local AI engine, Wi-Fi router, and network analyzer. This confirms the rumor that the Flipper One won't run the Zero's simple firmware. It's being built to handle a full-blown operating system, and that changes everything. So what's under the hood? The biggest change is the processor. The Flipper One is expected to have a powerful ARM-based chip that can run a full Linux OS and maybe even basic AI models right on the device. That's like trading in your Swiss Army knife for a whole laptop. But here's the shocking part, it's approach to radios. Now, the Flipper Zero is famous for its built-in NFC, RFID, infrared, and sub-gigahertz radios. The Flipper One reportedly gets rid of all of them. Instead, it looks like it features a KeyB Type M2 slot supporting USB 3PO and PCIe 2.1. This means you can add whatever you need, whether it's an SDR for radio scanning, a Wi-Fi card, or maybe even an LTE modem. In my opinion, it's a super smart move that gives you tons of flexibility and might help it avoid some regulatory headaches. It's less of a single tool and more of a platform. Connectivity is also getting a huge boost. The new design shows a 24-pin GPIO header with multiple 5-volt, 3.3-volt TX and RX pins for serious hardware projects. The device also shows powerful inputs capable of taking 9-volt at 3A or 12-volt at 2A plus rumored built-in Wi-Fi and Ethernet ports. So why is running Linux such a big deal? Well, this is what makes the Flipper One a totally different beast from the Zero. Think about it, instead of being limited to apps made just for the Flipper, you could potentially run thousands of professional grade tools you already know right from a command line. Maybe you could fire up Wireshark to analyze a network, write Python scripts to interact with hardware, or even compile code right on the device without ever touching your computer. The Flipper One is shaping up to be a true portable workstation for pen testers and hardware hackers. The Flipper Zero is perfect for quick on-the-go exploration, but the Flipper One is made for serious deep dive work out in the field. But let's get one thing straight. The Flipper One is not going to kill the Flipper Zero. The two devices are made for completely different things and are designed to complement each other. The Flipper Zero will always be the king of convenience. It's the perfect gadget for beginners and hobbyists who want to explore NFC, infrared, or sub gigahertz right out of the box. Its simplicity, amazing battery life, and huge community are what make it great. But the Flipper One is for the power user. It trades the Zero's built-in convenience for insane modularity and raw computing power. 
It's for the security pro who needs a flexible, high performance rig for heavy duty tasks on the move. So it's not about which one is better, it's about using the right tool for the job. If you're interested in the world of Flipper today, the Zero is the device to get. So the Flipper One isn't a Flipper Zero killer and that's great news. It really shows the Flipper ecosystem is growing up and expanding into more professional territory. It's a really cool new vision for what a portable hacking tool can be. Now, it's important to remember that we don't have an official release date, a price, or a final spec list. The project is still in early development, so it's best not to get your hopes up until we get official details. But you can bet I'll be watching it closely. So what do you think of the Flipper One? What gets you the most excited? Would you slot in an SDR, a Wi-Fi card, or something else? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked this breakdown, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future updates. I'm Jay Blanks. Thanks for watching. Peace.